GP, Dr. Sarah Jarvis. Good to see both of you this morning. I mean, you must hear stories, Eater, like Paul's all the time. Uh, I think men and couples find it very difficult and embarrassing to talk about those problems. They, don't they? do, and it, it is like a taboo. You know, for many men, when they get a poor result, they feel it's never going to happen, and it's quite interesting in that. Um, clip that it can happen you know. and it can put such a strain as it, well can't very, it, on yeah, very distressing for a relationship very mm. distressing so uh, you've got some tips haven't you for our viewers yes so what do we kick off with then the first is about about the sperm itself isn't it yeah I mean I think it's a bit of a myth you know a lot of couples will come along and they'll say we need to save up the sperm it's going to make it more potent and that's not the case at all the more you turn over the sperm the better the quality is and also I find in the second half of a cycle many women will stop having sex after ovulation and nothing happens in the last two weeks and again that's really detrimental to the quality of sperm as well. Ah, so it is again, as you were saying earlier in the week, keep as it, much keep sex it as well. They only get pregnant round yes. about the time yeah. that they're producing yeah. an egg. Yes. So they, they're going to save it for the next one. <laughs> yes. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't no, it work doesn't. that way. No. OK, all right, that's a good advice. And keeping a healthy weight for men. Yes, weight affects men as well. You know, if you're overweight, it will have hormonal impact. If you're underweight, it will affect the quality of the sperm also. Why? Because hormones are affected by ah, fat and, right. and various things like that. But also, you know, diet is, is really, really important. And men are very lucky. They're producing sperm 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So there's a lot that, that can happen with their diet that will help their sperm. Right, so even if the sperm is poor quality, by changing your diet, you can have an impact in the way that you can't, unfortunately, so much on eggs, can you? Yeah, men, men are more fortunate because, you know, they're producing sperm all of the time. They're factories. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. But, you know, there are sort of superfoods as well. You know, things like tomatoes are fantastic. Mm. They're rich in antioxidants and lycopenes, which are good for sperm. Nuts, you know, walnuts contain omega-3. Selenium in Brazil nuts is really good. Um, and also, like folic acid. Folic acid is just as important for a man as it is for a woman. And it's good for the DNA of the sperm. So lots of food rich in folic acid, spinach and cabbage and broccoli. OK. Smoking and drinking. I presume mm -hmm. that's not doing it, not <laughs> recommending it. No, I think, you know, with alcohol, it does increase free radical damage and it's detrimental to sperm. But it's quite interesting. Men have very different drinking habits very often to women. So a man will go down the pub on a Friday night and have all of his units in, mm. in one evening, as opposed to spreading it out during the week. But you really need to reduce alcohol if you're trying for a baby. And smoking is an absolute no-no, as I'm sure, you know, Sarah will agree. That and many other reasons. Yes, <laughs> well, indeed, indeed. Yeah. Now, the other for last tip, avoid extreme heat. Yeah. Heat is detrimental to the manufacturing of sperm. So, you know, if you're having jacuzzis, hot baths, saunas, etc., it's going to be damaging. But I think men need to be aware as well of mobile phones in oh, pockets, yeah. laptops on on laps, things like that. Because it generates heat. It's heat, and... yes, mm. yeah. OK, well, good advice there. So I'm if... going to add one last oh, one. Enjoy your relationship. Yes, one of the reasons yeah. couples It's quite stressful don't... when you're worried about all those <laughs> exactly. things. Exactly. But if you're not... Yeah. The thing, one of the reasons couples don't have sex in the second half of the yeah. cycle mm. is that it's not fun, it's become and a chore. It's, it's all about having yeah. a baby. Mm. Mm. But that is the tricky one, isn't it? People say, relax, and it's hard to relax when you're worried about oh, this. Okay. So if none of these things are working, yeah. where do you go, Sarah, for what, what next? Well, the first thing to do is to go, ideally, together to talk to your mm. GP yeah. because about one in seven cases is due to a male only factor about one in four cases yeah. is due where there's a problem with both couples having mm. a problem with fertility yeah um, and then there are all the other unexplained ones so the first thing we want to do as just as important as checking the woman out is to do a semen sample and what we're looking for there is are the sperm getting through so is there a mm. blockage are the sperm of poor quality mm. or are the sperm of perfectly good quality but there's mm. not enough of them or are they fine but they're just not moving in the right direction are they not mobile enough and basically there's hope isn't there oh there's, there's a lot of people hope. just think nothing's happened i'm going to give up yeah there especially with men that factor, takes the pressure off you know because a lot of men will get their results mm. and think it's pointless doing anything but there's always hope Absolutely. you know you've okay. got to keep trying there's things you can yeah. do great advice thanks very much indeed okay. both of you now, um, if you or someone you know is suffering from fertility issues, then there's lots of interesting and informative information on our website. Go and check it out, itv.com forward slash Lorraine. And after the break, well, he's the leading man in crime drama series by any means. Warren Brown joins me live.